cars going by this second. Recently, I kind of got wondering, has anyone ever played the F1 game trackside live whilst the cars are going about on circuit? And I don't just mean the F1 fan zone where you can play on some F1 esports simulators and whatnot. I mean literally at a ticketed point of a Grand Prix circuit. Well, today I thought I would do that very thing. But first and foremost, we actually need to get to a Grand Prix circuit whilst there's a race on and thought what better one to do than one that's been on my bucket list for a long, long time. Montreal, the Canadian Grand Prix. So I guess with that wacky plan in place, like every good F1 experiment I've done, it's time to just dig in and get into it. We need to get to Canada. <laughs> being funny yeah but this this is taking robot autonomy to a new level this man has a bow tie and a smiley face on the front and he's moving about some say it's the williams car next year And just like that, we're here in Montreal, Canada. Quick trip, but uh, yeah, before we get to the track, just gonna do some sightseeing, some tourism, try and avoid the torrential rain, and then it's time to go to the track for Friday practice. We'll be trying to play the F1 game whilst the cars are whizzing about on track. But before we got to that, like I said, just doing a bit of tourism and I actually found a pop-up store in the middle of Montreal selling some F1 merch, which is pretty cool. We don't have many pop-up stores in the UK because I think we sell them all year round, but at cities abroad where F1 only comes to town, uh, you know, one time in the year, it's pretty cool to see the bars. You know, they had some like stuff going on in the street, like GT cars, some simulators, even half a Red Bull car randomly. This is actually known as the hardest staircase to come down in Canada. It actually kills five Canadians every year. And as you can clearly see, she's really struggling. With the staircase of death dealt with, my girlfriend and I then went to an art museum, soaked in a bit of culture whilst there was some torrential rain on Thursday. And when I say torrential. Yeah, big man thing, yeah. It's um it's, it's not definitely look, it's definitely not, not looking wrong. good, bro. It's definitely not looking good. This is Jeff here. I think we're gonna need the full wet ties. <laughs> But let's be real, if that was F1 2021, Jeff would have definitely said that was time for dry ties. But a very wet Thursday dealt with, and now on Friday, it was time to head in. A quick metro ride in, and then we get to the circuit Gilles Villeneuve. For the very first time, I'm going to the Canadian Grand Prix. And we had an epic location at the Champions Club Rouge. <laughs> come all this way to Canada for this moment. I'm playing the F1 game right now and I'm going towards virtually, virtually the place where we're sat at right now and there are real cars going by this second. I reckon, I think there's a, an argument for having this as the new way to make content. Why can't, why can't all us F1 YouTubers just, we should all just travel the world with a laptop and just, well, record the game alongside the track. I've decided now, the new idea is making my team career mode episodes from the circuit at which I'm racing at. I think there's, I think that's big money there. Um, someone write that down in the comments so I don't forget. So we had a bit of silly fun then playing the F1 game briefly whilst free practice was going on. Uh, Saturday was a bit more wet as you can see as we came in for that really exciting qualifying day. I got some lovely 
Lovely slow-mo shots here, right up against the cage as they went through the last two corners, right, brisking the wall of champions and getting to the exit towards the run to the finish line. And then I actually got to go into the uh, pit lane, do a bit of a pit lane walk. This was included into the, the ticket package I got for the Canadian Grand Prix. Um, so they let you on into the pit lane for like a brief like moment to see the cars and we actually got really lucky because this was meant to be on the Thursday but because of the rain they moved it to the Saturday which meant we could see the cars post quality in part Fermi which was very very cool and then of course had to wave hello to Lando side of the garage of course and then it was time to actually be driven around this circuit with a bit of a track guide one of those flatbed trucks that you use sometimes for drivers parades I've dive bomb many people there in the F1 game right there 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 this is it guys this is the place Place where Vettel span and gave JB the win in 2011. What a corner. So that was Saturday and this was Sunday. The big one. The race day here at Montreal. The sun was beaming. Great time to go into the paddock for a quick paddock walk, which is also included in the ticket. But it was pretty cool because it was the first time I've been in the F1 paddock post-COVID. Of course, you guys know I have been in the paddock before with Alfa Romeo and even Williams in the past. Uh, but it's been a while since I've done that. So it was a cool experience to be back in there. And then it was time, of course, for the race in that still same a very cool spot we are in all weekend. And of course, whilst I was there, I had to do it. I had to get some slow-mo shots of this insane vantage point. This was basically one of the openings right on top of the Wall of Champions where the photographers can try and take some photos, the marshals can stick their flags out, but I was able to just get my reach over it, get my phone close, put on slow-mo mode, and it's just insane to me that I was able to witness the new era of Formula 1 for the very first time in the flesh at a place like this, you know, not even my home race at the British Grand Prix. It was here in Canada in such a cool vantage point, like I was a meter away from the driver's heads as they're whizzing by. And a fun little other moment was Bert Mylander before the race actually coming into our area to have a little interview. So uh, it's quite it's quite weird, you know, seeing the man who has definitely gifted me a fair few places sometimes on F1 My Team career mode races coming in to chat uh, to us all. And then with that, it was it was time to say goodbye. It was a short and sweet trip out to Montreal. We flew out back on the Sunday night. Bit of a nightmare at U, uh, YUL Airport, I'm not going to lie, but we made it through eventually. And with that, we are back in the UK. We have come and gone to a Grand Prix and played the F1 game live whilst a session was going on. Guys, if you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button and let me know in the comments below what you made of it. You know, if you want to see future things like this, you know, just doing more stuff at real life Grand Prix, then let me know. And, you know, I can see in the future a bit of long-term planning to see what we can do. And yeah, if you guys are new around here, get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.